late obsession. A bill to replace Proposition 3 passed by Utah voters in November clears the state Senate today. After a long and heated debate over Medicaid expansion, the bill advanced on a 22 to 7 vote. Prop 3 would expand Medicaid to those at or below 138% of the federal poverty level in Utah. Some state lawmakers say we can't afford it. I appreciate that all the voters wanted this tax. Good for them. Doesn't cover it. Doesn't cover it. And every other state out there saying is not only did it not cover it, but it didn't cover it by a very large margin. Senator Alan Christensen is sponsoring Senate Bill 96. It would expand Medicaid to those at or below 100% of the FPL and keep others on the exchange. He admits it will cost more in the short term, but insists it's more sustainable down the road. By the year 2024, there will be an annual savings of $87 million versus 86 million of cost. The bill also implements enrollment caps and work requirements, and it all hinges on a 90-10 waiver from the federal government. We're going to spend $71 million of the taxpayers' money on a bet, if you will, that we're going to get these waivers. And it's a true bet. No other state has got it. What makes us think we're so special that we will get it? Most Republicans in the Senate say it's a bet worth taking and voted to move the bill to the House. Now Prop 3 advocates are planning the next steps. I think it's uh, incredibly discouraging as a Utah voter to see us all show up, uh, make our voice heard, and the Senate summarily discount it uh, is a really frustrating thing. The final vote was nearly along party lines. Senator Todd Weiler was the only Republican to vote no. Weiler says the people voted, and he thinks a bill in the House better honors the election outcome. That bill would seek the waiver, but would have Prop 3 as a fallback option.